Hello students, today we will continue with second part of the chapter 5, Multiples and Factors. Today we will be learning what are prime numbers, composite numbers, co-prime numbers and prime factorization. Okay. Now let us see what are prime numbers. Now numbers which have only two factors, one and the number itself. Now let us see, these are the given series of number. We will see which are prime number. Now 1. 1 has how many factors? 1 has only one factor. So 1 is not a prime number. 2. 2 has how many factors? 2 has two factors. That is 2 and 1. So 2 is a prime number. Now let us see 3. 3 has how many factors? 3 has only two factors. So 3 is also a prime number. Now, all the even numbers, that is 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, they are not prime numbers. So we can omit all the even numbers. Now let us see 5. 5 has how many factors? 5 has 2 factors. So 5 is also a prime number. 7 have 2 factors. So 7 is also a prime number. Now let us see 9. 9 has how many factors? 9 has 3 factors. That is why 9 is not a prime number. Next, 11. 11 also have only 2 two factors that is also 11 is also a prime number 13 also have two factors only so it is a prime number 15 let us see 15 15 has four factors so 15 is not a prime number now 17 17 also has only Two factors that is why 17 is a prime number 19 also has only two factors that is why 19 is also a prime number so prime numbers are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 and so on now let us see what are composite numbers number which have more than two factors are called composite number now these are all the numbers which have factors more than two four has how many factors three factors so four is a composite number in the same way six eight nine ten twelve they have factors more than two that's why they are called composite numbers now let us see what are co-prime numbers. Numbers which have only common factor 1. Here I have given you two examples, 15 and 20, 8 and 15. So let us see the factors of 15 and 20. Now 5 and 5 is common here, 1 and 1 is common here. So here they have two common factors. So 15 and 20 is not a co-prime number now let us see 8 and 15 here only one is common so 8 and 15 are co prime numbers now let us see what is prime factorization to understand these we need to know what are prime numbers and factors you already know what are prime numbers now factors now let us take an example of the number 18 let us write all the possible factors of 18 so all the possible factors of 18 are 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 now you see here out of these factors which are prime numbers 2 and 3 are the prime numbers now 18 can be written as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 into 1. So, prime factorization means writing a number as a product of its prime factors. 
Now there are two methods of prime factorization. One is factor three method and the other one is division method. First we will learn what are factor three method. With the help of uh, 300 Now let us break down 300 into smaller factors. Still, all the factors are prime. Now 300, we can break it into 2 multiplied by 150 is 300. So we are breaking it into 2 and 150. Now let us break 150. 275 is 150. So we are breaking down 150 into 2 and 75. Now we will break down 75 into 3 and 25. Now we will break down 25 into 5, 5 is 25. So these are all prime numbers. So the factorization of 300 are 2 multiplied by 2 into 3 into 5 into 5. Next let us see division method. We will take an example of the number 84. Let us, let us break it down. Two. Seven, seven. So these are the prime factors of 84. 2 into 2 into 3 into 7. So students, now that you have learned what are prime numbers, composite number, co-prime numbers and how to do prime factorization, we will try to solve exercise 5.2. All of you turn with me to page 51 and see the first question. Find all the prime numbers from the following numbers. Now you already know what are prime numbers. Prime numbers are those numbers which have only two factors so you can choose among this number and you can solve it by yourself second question find the composite numbers from the following numbers in the same way you know that what are composite numbers numbers which have more than two factors two also you can solve it by yourself question three write all the prime numbers between 50 and to 80 so you have to write down all the prime numbers which is between 50 and 80 now question number four write the first 10 composite numbers greater than 45 so you have to write uh, composite numbers greater than 41 so it will start from 42 try to do it by yourself question three and four also now let us see question five which of the following pairs of numbers are co-prime numbers? Now we will write the factors of both 25 and 36. The prime factors. 5, 5 is 25. Now 36. With the help of prime uh, division method of prime factorization, you can find out. So these are the prime factors of. 36. Now you see here only one is common. So 25 and 36 are co prime numbers. Next, let us solve C 57 and 138. 57 and 138 let us see the factors 3 is 9, 3 is 6. So it doesn't go anymore. 2 multiplied by 3 into 23 into 1. Now here you will see 3 and 3 is common here. 1 and 1 is common. So more than 1, they have 2 common factors. So 57 and 138 are not co-prime 
numbers. Now question number six, find the prime factorization using factor three method. Now let us try to solve question number B, 56. We have to break it into smaller numbers. Now two, eight, zero, 16, 2004. 28 that is 56 now this 28 we have to break it down to 14 to 7 zero. so now all the numbers are prime factors so the prime factors of 56 are 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 into 7 Next, let us solve question number D, 196. We'll go with 2, 8, 2, 16, and 2, 18. We will go with 2 again, 9, 2, 18, then 1 in hand, 4, 2, 8. 7, 7 is 49. So the prime factors of 196 is 2 multiplied by 2 into 7 into 7. Next question, question number 7. Find the prime factorization using division method. We will solve question number D. It will go with 2, 2, 4, is 8, 2, 5, is 10, 2, 7, is 14, 2, 2, is 4. Now it will go with 3, 3, 9, is 27, 3, 3, is 9. So the prime factors of 108 are 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, into 3 into 3 into 1 so students hope you have understood the lesson now i will give you your homework exercise 5.2 question 1 to question 7 thank you stay home stay safe